that, that was, was your not, excitement? That was that was my excitement, yeah, for last okay. game. That was all right. Because it never looked. It was only looked like there was going to be one winner the whole game. That's never exciting. You that's know? true. That's true. Well, well maybe wanna... if you're rooting for a team, it's a little bit more exciting. I don't know. I was trying to pump it up a little bit. Do you? <laughs> do they have that um, at football games? The fake noise. Yes. Where, yeah. where they're just like everybody clap your hands, and then the meter just goes, "Oh my god!" And then they're what? just, oh, you don't have that. All right, we have that here yeah. at baseball games and like hockey games. They're always like, just make some noise, and nobody makes noise. They just pump in fake noise, and it's annoying. It's frustrating, That's, actually. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's the worst, actually. If anybody in the chat understands what I'm talking about, America with sports seems so much more ridiculous than the rest of the world. I, just, I tried to learn what the MLS rules were the other day, by the way. And let me tell you, I'm never looking at that ever again. Ever. Who's your MLS team? Uh, I don't have one, but I was just trying to learn the rules. Come yeah. on, man. I have a I have a Prem League team. <laughs> my my team that gets uh you know gets the draw to... and then gives it away in the plus ten. If I 10. had to choose one, it would probably be New York City FC because that's who Lampard played for. But... Okay, there's a draft team? going on, though. We should probably talk about Damn, they're going fast. Phoenix faces Void for RNG. Mars Ooh. Marana. Okay, so Spear and Arrow against the Supernova Chrono. Fair enough. Yeah, but they, they have their leap attack speed to kill the egg as well, which is nice, obviously, like one-to-one. -one. Yeah. I think both teams will be happy with their opening, though. I think RNG is probably you know a little bit better, but their lane's slightly weaker. So kind of goes both ways. But like come mid game, Chrono Egg is obviously one of the the best ones going in the game at the moment. Yeah, it's not often you'll see Phoenix get let through. Never mind, give a team Phoenix and Void. Jeez, Phoenix and Void because they've been Magnus Morph. <laughs> I, I was thinking to say that guy, I love, like because RNG banned Sven as well. So there's like <laughs> two bands, Morph and Sven, that we never see first phase. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, do you guys want to have an exciting game? Raise that excitement meter. We're going to ban stuff that never gets banned first phase. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and then now we get Void and Phoenix and uh, Mars Marana coming out. Although Mar Mars usually makes it out of the first phase. So does Marana. Most of the time, yeah. But Drow Band, Zeus Band. Um, you're trying to protect the, the Void, right? So... <sighs> what do you need to get rid of here Maybe to protect like the void? Maybe like hard saves, like Oracle or Oracle. Or... The Beast lockdown Master's too. Annoying. Beast Mars is interesting though because they've picked Mars. So, oh, I still think it's Phoenix... going to be a mid Mars. Who was the team that picked Plus Five Mars? Oof. Was that SAG last time? Red Panda on it. I, th I think, think it was. Wasn't it, it was in the last season, but that was with Red Panda. Like, yeah. That seems like a super specific support kind of thing. Like they Red did Panda Prophet was just 1 like, Mars 5, didn't they, for the Sprout into Spear? Yeah. It was so good. Dude, that's not, season it wasn't 2 is crazy. Great, but, you know. Like, I'm not saying season 3 is not going to live up to the hype. I'm just saying <laughs> season 2 was also just as nuts. Like, wasn't we already just had Magma it beating the, IG. It wasn't the season 2 final. Vici went 2 0 up and then Seed it got 3 2. swept? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. When in between games two and three, me and you were like, is this going to be a 3-0? Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to get to bed early? And then it went five games, which is, uh, you know, we curse That's ourselves. always fun, though. But that, I yeah, love it. it was great. Going the full whack is always the best way. For sure, for sure. Five game series. This Shadow Demon pick's a bit odd. Uh, so Save, I guess. I mean, the save is really good. Now you can grief your void and save somebody in Chrono <laughs> from the other team. Or you can grief your void and set up an arrow from Mirana. <laughs> <laughs> but I think maybe they're looking at like picking Centaur or something second phase, because I think you want something that plays with the Phoenix, so that plays with the Shadow Demon in the laning stage, right? No, they mm. so they're going to play Shadow Demon, Void, safe lane, okay. and Underlord Phoenix, I imagine, off lane. Or the Shadow Demon mid. Here we go. But uh, I, I like the Void. Gives you mobile presence as well as the wave clear. 
with the firestorm and pit of malice is all right but they, they need more lockdown like they can't just be we're working with what supernova egg pop chrono disruption have, and pit of malice they have decent lockdown they have pit of malice as well yeah yeah but like you need something you need like they got disruption i guess I, I don't i like the underlord pick i don't really get the shadow demon pick though it's the one for me it's a uh classic man maybe they just really value the save classic superhero because it's not like they have anything that is hits people straight away out of disruption mm -hmm. there's no arrow or anything like i guess pit of malice is okay well there is an arrow it's just <laughs> not arrow, on your yeah. team <laughs> But you'd just be griefing if you did it to an ally. <laughs> just once. Like you can, you can save fiend script. You can save like if somebody gets arrowed and speared, you can just disrupt them and just like. Now they've oh. got issues. Okay. I mean, void against arc. Void is one of the better heroes at dealing with it because you have the gap mm -hmm. close and you have the big AOE to be able to try and lock him down. Hmm. But they have. The rest of their heroes are really bad at dealing with Arc Warden. It's an egg hitter as well, which is good. Hmm. I just wish they picked something other than Shadow Demon. Invoker getting banned by SAG. Okay. Although I say that, but Setsu in Invoker is actually really good. Yeah. You know what Setsu really loves playing? And I don't think it's going to get picked here, but OD. Uh, Setsu's a baller with that hero. Could be. I mean, they have last pick, so depending on what gets picked for SAG, they could. I mean, Void Spirit still in the pool is a big one. Kunkus mm -hmm. still in the pool. Ember's been taken out. Yeah, Puck would Puck. have been really good. Yeah. So, I mean, Setsu's really good at that hero. I'm really hoping for uh, I'm really hoping for the OD just to have that set to call, but I don't think it's gonna happen. There's the Kunk, but the Void Spirit's still in. Yeah, which is a big one for RNG, I think. If they get gives you a lot of control, it gives you that control that I'm I I, I was thinking about, it but gives also control, it gives but... you the silence once you've got the Ags mobility, yes, active mobility. at six. Mobility to get to the arc is the most important part of that. Yeah, I think because you can't just rely on the void to be the one that gets on top of the arc warden. They could do really something really dumb like lichen mid. That sounds fun. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, now you just do a uh, global silence, silence your mid. Nailed it. Okay, I mean. Storm's really good because it gives them the jump to get to the supports. Like the Shadow Demon and the Phoenix need to die first, I think. And it, the Storm now gives them a way of doing that. Especially Shadow Demon. Could... But now they definitely need more catch. Yeah, but... Is Lena going to be it, you think? Yeah, it could be. I still think Void Spirit's okay as well. The lane's not great for Void Spirit, though. What about even Lushrak? Okay, yeah. Never mind. Don't answer that Lushrak question. Obviously not the right answer. <laughs> but Void Spirit, I let's you get to the back to Arc Warden. Like you said, you know, I'm not trying to steal that one. So my, my problem with SAG's lineup is that if Mars doesn't have a good time, Who's making the plays on the map? Because these stones can't like just zip in on people without items. You know? like, yeah. They need the Storm and the Mars to both have a good time, I think. Like, if Ark has a slow start to the game, it's annoying, but it's not the end of the world because he'll catch up. But if the Mars and the Storm don't have a good time, I think they'll really struggle. Mars especially. I I, th I like the Shadow Demon Disruption into the Aether Remnant. It's okay. That combo feels like it could be strong uh, in the mid-game. I just don't like the Shadow Demon pick. Just full stop. Okay. It's okay, but I don't no? see the reason. 
Like it keep it keeps people alive in like the arena, which is nice. It stops for like follow up stuns and things. Yeah. But I mean, it's a save in the arena. That Bane mask is horrendous. I can't wait for everybody to see this. It's awful. <laughs> if if the observer could get like do the, the what's the mode called? Showcase. You go on Bane. Show, yeah, go on showcase the mode on Bane straight away, and everybody needs to see how disgusting this is. Oh, good. Look at that oh, mask in the, the picture. The goat's head. It's actually awful. Like. Oh, hey, kid. It's all right. Doesn't exactly go with the set around him. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of... Yeah, okay, never mind. I I'm not a big fan. <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> Please stop trying to defend Nick. The animations good. weren't good, man. It was Let's not... Yeah. yeah it was yeah, weird. Yeah. Let's just not take open. away... I was gonna say, let's not take away this game. By the way, that they have uh, Void Phoenix on the RNG. So, I mean, if fights ever break out, they have upper hand, like all the time, the, right? And that's the thing. Like, I know you don't like the Shadow Demon pick, but you've got Disruption to save the egg. You've got Aether Remnant to save the egg. I think a lot of this can work. They're desperately looking for a kill up here on the Void. Thirty seconds to battle. They block the camp with the observer ward. Actually, wow. Four ranged with this uh, SHG lineup. Yeah. See if they What's can wrong with that? Kill the egg. Oh, I see. I mean, Bane's probably not ever going to hit the egg. <sighs> if he, if Bane's in a position where he can ever hit an egg, he's probably should already be dead. Or he'll be throwing a uh, right click the at the begins. egg as he dies. Most likely. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see. Arc Warden down here, bottom. And if, especially if they give the. Void an open, you know, give God King an o as open of a game as he had in the previous one. Well, if they give him more of a game than they did last time, I'd be surprised considering he had the most free game. Yeah. So it can't be as bad, surely. I love how that Mars was trying to set up for the range creep kill with God's Rebuke and Morana just arrows it straight away. <laughs> that was fantastic. As is tradition. Storm should do pretty well mid though, I think. I think this this matchup is uh, again hit, like D Stone's favoured, same last game, but I mean Setsu played really well before, so Yeah, I guess it's just a question of whether or not D Stones can perform well enough in this lane and obviously in the last game he really didn't He's already got three denies in the void spirit. Yeah, I mean the the big thing was last game that like he, he made the correct Dyer's rotations as well. Has been but also, in this lane, Storm has much higher armor. Like he has six. So it, it's much more difficult for the, the Void to bully him out. But that's just all theory. <laughs> also going to see Super do the thing where you don't level Shadow Poison. And you go like 4-4-0. Four, four, and you just play off of pulls and things to get XP. And that Soul Catcher burst damage that comes to all at once is yeah, really strong. Yeah, I saw that recently, actually. That is uh, ours. What was it? I think it was the... I think we saw it. It was the EUCIS close qualifiers. Uh, probably. That sounds right. That was just the most recent thing we I've done, so... And I remember seeing it recently, so... I just assume that it was that. XCJ getting bullied to this... Icarus dive over, and they'll let him go. Looked like it could have been close for a moment. Oof. Radiant are scanning. I was just looking at this spot, and Underlord just doesn't have mana to play with. I don't... Has he not gone bottle or something first? Looks like he's gone stick, but... I don't think it does anything, does it? 
Not particularly. Is he gonna get like a soul ring or something? I think most underlords go uh, bottle at the moment. Like that the soul ring just feels really bad because it doesn't give you HP regen anymore. It gives you armor instead. Because mm -hmm. you don't have the ring of regen build up now. He's going bracer. Okay. I don't know what his mana like situation. Like, maybe just brings out a mango as well or something. Ooh, he threw him in on D-Stones. Back and forth, continue to go on. 18 and 4 now. 19 and 4 for this Void Spirit. Resonant Pulse taking a lot of damage from D-Stones. And... I think he's dead. Survives, but walks back okay. in. He's got the bottle to play oh. with. Doesn't grab the Aether Remnant. Now he might die, but all the dissimilate. Just a sliver yeah. of health left for these stones. I think if you'd have waited to have the Resonant Pulse up instead of the Aether Remnant on the voice for it. The tower. Yeah, that's really good. He'll probably miss out a wave for this on the storm, or at least like half a wave, right? But it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, I think if he, he misused his uh, spells a little bit there on Setsu, but that's much better from D-Stone. Like he's going to have this big level advantage now. Yeah, he's a full level ahead. Wow. Oh, the Storm actually killed himself when the four minute runes were spawning. I didn't think about that. So maybe he could have been okay. Disruption up towards uh, top. top. And they were looking over at September. Oh, he is? He is going Shadow Poison. What? Hmm. He's got two of the Shadow Poison. Underworld taking a lot of damage, too. Nightmare on SRF pulled off by the Phoenix. They've got themselves the Spark Wraith. He's Ooh. gonna TP. This is really nice. But again, SRF just has nothing to work with. This lane's really not going well for him. But when you're playing against Bane Arc Warden, that doesn't sound like a fun lane at all. No. But they have to do something to this Arc Warden. Setsu. Now doing with a level it. 6 Storm. Oh, yeah. that is I mean that first for Setsu. that that first kill in the lane before decides everything for like this lane yeah. onwards really. They're gonna get four runes on Radiant as well, by the way. It's an absolute disaster for uh, for RNG. Stupendous. This Arc Warden's free farming. Like the Void's having a really good time as well, but yeah, I think Arc having a good time is is uh, more important. Like, Mask of Madness for the Void, no Midas. Yeah, he, he needs to be able to kill people this game, though. If he goes Midas, it's going to be too slow. Mm -hmm. Void Spirit when he hits six. Okay. Maybe he'll get a chance to do something, but D-Stone's all over this Void Spirit. Super. He's trying to protect the rune and gets an Arcane Rune. Okay. They want to go for Setsu here, mid lane. They've got the Nightmare coming in. Yeah, but there's a disruption available. Now XRF. XCJ, sorry. What, no, why did I say XRF? That's like XCJ and SRF's child. Nothing to your pile. 1k lead right now for SAG. Uh, they're doing really well, but it's the four bounty runes as well, remember? Mm -hmm. Thirty-six and twelve for this Arc Warden. Ooh, Arena Spear. It's six before the void, but able to time walk just before that arrow would have hit. Really Question close. Is, can they can they use this Chrono before they get Egg to get a kill? Oh, Setsu? On the D-Stones, can you get the kill? Double Astral Step, just not enough damage. It certainly felt like the experience was much more in the favor of SAG. But, I'll get it, it's only about 500. That's mainly because this Murana and Bane have been mo like moving around a bit more though, right? I think. Yeah, like Shadow Demon's a little bit ahead.
just a slight lead for the moment, but they need to get on this Arc Warden. I mean, I'm shocked that Setsu's doing so well, considering he had that early death. Yeah. Like, his net worth is still the highest in the game at the moment. Swifter than ever. God King's actually struggling quite a bit. I mean, he's doing okay. Like, it's not awful. He wants to make a play with this Chronosphere, though, I think. Like, I don't know where, but... I mean, is he going to take over mid? He's just he's casually just, he's walking, walking bottom. That's because he's walking all the way to bot lane. Which is nuts. I mean, that is so much time wasted. Bot lane. He'll now go back towards mid over towards bottom, though. They get the kill on XC. JSRF gets credit for that. So a third kill for Royal Never Give Up. Meanwhile, Shadow Demon trying to get the Shadow Poison out onto these neutrals. And Arc Warden just TP's top instantly. Doesn't want anything to do with this bot lane. Nothing Super can really do about defending this stack now. September just gets to come and kill it. Yeah, which is really good for them, because like... Take away the stacks, but you also take away the stack gold and everything. Dyer's top really tower good. is under That's... attack. Radiant structures are fortified. They're just gonna trade tier ones. I guess they are. Midas on Arc Warden. Double Radiant usage straight away. Is under attack. Yeah, and now things are gonna get difficult. They have Dyer's not touched this Arc Warden. And I hate to reiterate myself and keep repeating myself, but. It, it seems like that other Arc Warden game we saw tonight. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. It, it really does, doesn't it? I mean, the main difference is this time, the Dyer have the better team fight, I think. Like, they have Void Phoenix. So, eventually, if they hit, they hit their spells properly, it doesn't matter how farm the Arc is, because they can always still kill him. Mm -hmm. But Arc Warden is definitely going to get start farming Radiant's rune, like, much faster than Lightning, Vortex... Astral step to leave, but they're gonna follow it up. Mars looking for the arena that hits both Super and Setsu. They've got the Chrono right onto the Mars, but do they have the damage to really do anything? He's so tanky. Spear, hit of Malice, and now with the Shadow Poison, last shot comes in for SRF. This forces four heroes over here mid. Did you get the kill, kill though? Big, big kill. For that hunt. Time is money. So first Chrono does get them a kill. The Just the question becomes, is that enough to work with? Uh, I, I mean, it kind of... It, I mean, it's good though, right? Like, at least they're using the Chrono to get something. Yeah, but four heroes came mid. Like, are you pulling your heroes away from the sidelines and all of a sudden, like, that's opening up too much? Like, is that really value? Yeah... It's the same problem though, they're playing against Ma Arc Order with Midas. Like, it's effectively two Midases against a Void without a Midas. He he's gonna get outscaled. Mm -hmm. So, they have to find kills with the Chrono to get into the game. Like, you can't just slow down the pace like we saw from SAG last time. Like, whenever their spells are up, like Egg, like Chrono, they have to try and fight and do things. Otherwise, the Arc Warden's just gonna. If the game slow, the Arc Warden's gonna outfarm you, and then eventually yeah. you just lose. Feeds were abused on the Shadow Demon. Get the kill there. Spark race down, use the dome, get the kill, and Super ends up dead to XCJ. Void Spirit going for the Yules, and they are sort of keeping up, but again, I just don't know if it's enough. Yeah, they're doing okay. Like, they're not too far behind. Setsu has to double Astro step. For step. Setsu. Yeah. That's Gets fine though, that's damage. worth it to get the rune, I think. Is Void farming enough? Like, is, is, he's going Battle Fury now. Yeah, I, I think he has to. I think he has to look to scale now. Because if, if he doesn't buy a scaling item here now, then... Nightmare and Arrow. Yeah. The Tempest double. September leaps in. They feel the Star Storm, and now the Tempest double hidden away at the tier two. But they've lifted up. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Arc, his clone's about to die before Midas comes off cooldown. Look at that. Two, one. Yeah. 
<laughs> Very sad. Going orchid on D stones. Radiant so far, so good. Tower. SAG Sun definitely showing us something different than the last game so far. I mean, their lanes went Dyer's so much better this time. That's, <laughs> that's the big thing. It is another slow game, but... Oh, hang on. Here comes Setsu. Here comes the gang. I'm going to try and go for this, but... Yeah, they, they need to set up with the um, disruption, really. But it's so hard for Shadow Demon to get in range before he just zips away, even with smoke. Yeah. Arrow. Oh, that hits. Shadow Demon now in trouble. Arena disruption, avoiding the spear. Good Shaba coming over to try to sunray and keep Super alive. They'll use that demonic encourage SRF to follow this up. Icarus Diver, they're gonna go for the supernova. They will. So now, all of a sudden, uh, flyby. He's got two stacks of shadow poison. September goes down. Super dead. Look over at XCJ. Nightmare mid Icarus dive. They didn't even get the kill on the Mars. I'm surprised they didn't try to bring the void to this though. I'm surprised they let the Mars just kind of walk back to the tower like that. Yeah. I mean, they didn't really have a choice, though, because they're fighting into that area without really knowing who's TPing in or or anything, right? I know this Void's finding his way back into the game. Which one? Void Spirit and the Faceless Void, both of them. I mean, Void Spirit's been doing fine most of the game, but Faceless is, uh, yeah, definitely getting back into it. Link are available for this Mars. He almost has yours as well on the Underlord. So, pit, yours, pit. And they don't have the egg, but they do have the chrono here for this mid lane. Radiant structures are fortified. Is that a blink on Mars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shadows take us. Dyer's bottom tower. Got the Yules. Aether Remnant on the Bane. Resonant Pulse. XCJ on the run, but the Sentry is down, so he can't get away from this one. Setsu gets the kill. Moment of your life led without doubt Easy peasy. To this. Yeah. When he gets this axe as well, they might actually be scary. I don't know. You, you've got a catch at the moment with like the Yules into the Aether Remnant, but... I feel like with how much split pushing that's been going on as well, he's, he's going to be pretty sad that he hasn't maxed out Dissimilate. It's like the highest damage spell that he has, right? He's going to fighting right non-stop, like Resonant Pulse and Aether Remnant are good, I think, but... Yeah. Radiant are scanning. They still have Chronosphere up, like... They haven't used it. They have the Chrono Supernova combination if they want to go to it, but God King continuing to just farm as much as he can into a Battle Fury. But look at Jay. Like, this, this Arc Warden is so farmed. Yeah. Look at the net, net, net worth difference between Arc Warden and everybody else in the game already. He's getting bots really early as well. He's getting bots before Mjolnir. So the split push is just going to be, you know, bigger and bigger. More and more split push, more and more net worth gain for the Arc Warden. Exactly how you want to play it. Arena Arrow all hitting onto the Shadow Demon. Chrono lands on a two. They have the damage for any of this. Aether Remnant, they kill off Flyby. They'll take out XCJ. Uh, Storm. In. Storm coming in way too far with the Pit of Malice. Do they have anything to follow it up? Icarus dive. But no Supernova use. Sunray out on a D-Stones. Ball Lightning back to the what? tower. Excuse Where is he going? D-Stones. What direction are you trying to go in? Time walk to try and keep up with him. And one pit of malice to stop the TP and the kill. D stones. I, I don't know where you're going. I have a really bad feeling he clicked on the mini map there instead of in the base. So like he meant you know when you like you, you want to zip towards your fountain on Radiant side, you like click bottom left. Mm -hmm. I think he accidentally clicked on the mini map and it hit top right, and so he started flying towards the top right. And now they're just gonna go for Mars. They've got the Pit of Malice. Supernova very far back. Jesus. That's the kind of thing that in a game 
like this, but so like on a knife's edge. Now all of a sudden, Storm like Storm was doing really well before, right? Now all of a sudden he's just he's really far behind where he wants to be. Not yeah. really far actually, but yeah. Boy's gonna have Battle Fury soon, so he's gonna be farming much quicker. These stones. Yeah, that death is kind of big. He's going BKB after this orchid. Yeah, which I don't really agree with. God King almost has the, the battle Gordon. theory. Meanwhile, our Gordian getting caught goes into the dome, but he's back in the pit of mouse. They've got the astral step and they find Jay. That is a massive kill here for Royal Never Give Up, especially now on the battle fury for God King. Who's going Echo yeah. Saber next? Biggest kill on the map, Dark Order. Yeah. At every single By point far. in the whole game. Silence. Whoa. I think, yeah, that was Fiend's Grip used. Radiance middle they didn't even get it. Has they got you. Well, it was available for a split second. He Fiend's Gripped him, I think, for a shorter duration than the cast time. <laughs> But then you know you're casting fusion when you're not getting anything from it is what I'm saying. Like it, yeah, yeah. it feels really bad. My path leads to riches. I think they've just pinged out the battle fury as well on Radiant Side. They really want this void and they know where he is. But where's the catch? Can yeah, they get the it, arena on him? Tough to kill him. Goki's just been AFK farm mode for uh, for a little while here. And he's, he's caught up to the Ark Warden. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? That was the Ark Warden death before, though. They've smoked up on Radiant, but they're just going to... Yeah, Radiant, but they're going to miss him now. Because it, they're too slow. Like, they pinged him out way before the smoke came out. Oh, Yule's hit him out. This arrow coming in, it hits the Void Spirit. However, oh. G-Stone's just getting a bit away. He doesn't have TP though. They tried to be greedy there and not use Chrono. Like they don't get him, but he still have Chrono available, I guess. So it's not. It's not the end of the world. But they would have traded a Chrono for a Storm Kill, I'm sure. Yeah. It'll get much easier when they have Ags on the Void Spirit. Wait, what's he got coming out in the career on Void? What is? Oh, he's disassembling his Mask of Madness. Right, right, okay. Yeah. So the Echo Saber going BKB next. That's interesting. Oh. Dyer are scanning. I mean, if there's a player that's going to do any dis kind of disassembling in Dota at the moment, it's God King, so. <laughs> As is tradition. Dyer's middle tower. Is under attack. Arc Warden now just as farmed as the Faceless Void. He's going into Mjolnir. He's got Bots Midas Mjolnir just about. And the Void who's got the Echo Saber. It's BKB next for God King. But you have to remember how far ahead this Arc Warden was. And all of a sudden he's just not. Maybe even three. They're going to Dark Rift up towards top. Got the Yules, doesn't land the Oh, we got hit by the arrow. And they're gonna go in for Flyby. They've got the Pit of Malice down. Right click's coming through. Flyby in trouble. SRF gets the kill with the Firestorm. So, another kill there for Royal Never Go Up, and they take a net worth lead. It feels like there's two separate hunting parties in this game. They're like playing in pairs. It's like Murano and Mars are one side, and then Bane. Storm at the other side. And I feel like they need to be three to make sure they get three or four to make sure they get a kill at the moment. Especially in a slow game like this. You know they're probably relatively grouped up, right, on RNG. Yeah. Radiance Courier has been killed. There's level two egg up now as well. Radiance middle tower is under attack. The Yule's on the Phoenix, so this orchid on Storm doesn't do anything anymore to him. Oh boy. Seems like with time things are just getting worse. They really are, especially on this storm as well. Like the storm on the Mars. It, this reminds me 
so much of magma that we saw earlier. Where like mm. they have a decent laning stage, they do really well early on, and then they just kind of stop fighting and they they just chill. But they've allowed the void to come back into the game. There's now an Ags on the void spirit as well. Is that before the BKBs on the storm spirit? Yeah. I mean, that is really massive for them. If they can find this storm before he gets this BKB. Because then they won't they, need to use the chrono spirit to kill him. But even when he gets BKB, they have the chrono, right? Like, yeah. It's not... This BKB it doesn't is. make Storm's game that much easier. Yes, it, it makes, like, hits annoying. I get it. It just puts a lot more pressure attack. on Gokin to land the chrono. Or to him. Sounds on to the Bane. Dissimulate. XCJ. Yule's up. Aether Remnant right there to keep him locked down. So they'll try to get this kill into XCJ. They just don't know the damage. Fury Chaba dies. They're going to dark rift. Here comes, this, here comes the gang, silence. though. Malice down, ball ending in. There's the Vortex. Disruption saving the faceless void. They're going to put a Spark Wraith in, and he's going to time walk. He's outside the arena. Arrow flies through. That hits on the faceless void. Now they've got the Sun Sun of the Mars. Star Storm through, but God King able to time walk that damage off. Good they've chrono. got themselves the Chrono. That hits the Storm. They have the damage to get that kill just barely. Storm dead for 50 seconds. Now they'll focus their attention on the XCJ, and they will take out this Bane. God King gets a double kill and now he's dominating, on top of which he now sits top of the net worth. Oh, these, every single storm death here hurts so much. Like when he's this close to BKB. They they have so much like setup at the moment. They have like Yules on Marana, there's like the um, Arena Spear, there's like Orchid on Storm, there's Fiend's Grip, there's all sorts, but they don't have that like damage output at the moment because Ark's not at that point in the game. Mm -hmm. So this Void's just sitting on 2,200 HP and they can't 100 to zero him. Dyer are scanning. The prize is mine. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Scan came in, but just a little late looking for that Void. Or uh, looking for the Arc Warden. Things uh starting to edge towards Royal Ooh. Never Give Up. Yasha next for the Faceless Void, and then there's the kill on XCJ. As Setsu really starting to do work with this axe, he's getting into a BKB pretty quickly. And this Shadow Demon just has Aether Lens first, by the way. I don't, I don't know where this has come from. They can catch the shot, this Mars here, this is huge. Disruption. And they've got the Sunray flyby in trouble. I don't think he gets out of this one, and. He's, dead. he's not, he's not even throwing spells. Like, he's not throwing spear to cancel the sun ray or anything. I mean, they're just getting picked up on by one. Where's the pop? That 10 second BKB. Question is, can he get anything out of this one? The silence wears off. They go into the dissimulate. They've got the Tempest double, but he Astro steps away. They keep the Tempest double in check. We'll get to use Midas, but that's about it. Has Diso killed anybody with this Orchid? Dyer's you remember that kid he got in the early laning stage mid? He's 1-3-0 and zero now. He hasn't taken part in another kill since he, before he was level 6. He's halfway to level 18. It's not what you want to hear if you uh, are talking about your storm. Oh, this grip's massive. If they can kill yeah. the Void Spirit here, this is Void huge. Spirit low, but there's the disruption. They've got the Supernova. Setsu oh stays alive, God. they go after September, they'll find the kill, now the Mars is next. Nightmare, flyby, still dead regardless. And they have Chrono they have, still. Yeah, <laughs> I should say they still have <laughs> Chrono. Like, why are they not, have they not got, like, no got any more damage to, like, throw onto this Fiend script to kill the Void Spirit, like, before the save comes out? It's crazy. It really is. Paladin Sword now for the Void. He'll feel even safer coming into the later part of this game. Like, he's going Hurricane Pike on Ark Warden. And I just... Surely that's not the item. I think you have to do damage. Yeah, and like, I, I, I know Hurricane distance, Pike but... sets up for that, and yeah, it's like it's a nice item on Arc Warden and everything, but... It feels like they need like this MKB or something to actually kill mm -hmm. people. 
And all of a sudden, they're down 5k. And things aren't looking like they're going to get easier anytime soon. Like, I don't think they just out-farm and all of a sudden, like, Arc Warden takes over. Especially with Hurricane Pike as the next item. Yeah. It's, it's looking real rough. I think second day, just now that the Roach is up, it's going to mean, like, something huge. But, I don't know. The, the way that fights have been going, you know, they have Chrono Egg around the pit as well. Dyer are scanning. Send the Tempest double over towards mid. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And they're staying by this pit. They want this Roche. Radiance they're gonna get the mid two on though here, I think, which is big. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, the glyph. <laughs> and they're gonna get the tier one top. At least two on mid's gonna die though, so at least fortified. they trade. Oh, they glyphed Dyer's after the tower went down. <laughs> oh no. I mean, glyph gets reset, so it's not like the end of the world. But... There's a quickening charm on Arc Warden, okay. Budget spell prism confirmed. This is the way back into it. They've got the Yules, they have the lockdown here to kill off September. God King goes right for the tier two, and they're gonna continue for more. Dyer's middle tower. Yes, Underlord has 107 bonus damage at the moment. Should, uh, probably chill out a bit. <laughs> Tempest double pushing mid. It also got storm there, but you're gonna lose your tier two in the top lane, and then they'll probably move towards Roche. There's no reason not to. Radiance top tower has fallen. Void also has the Silver Edge. G, they're just setting up to Dyer's secure the pit and secure yeah. themselves the ages. Unsure about the Silver Edge. I mean, it's really good because it allows them to find these entrances onto the like really mobile heroes, like the Storm, like even Arc Warden. It's good to find in the back and things, right? Yeah. Interesting. I'm. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I guess it's pretty good against Mars as well, actually. Saying that mid lane. Uh, oh my! <gasps> that gets popped. Aether Remnant lands on XCJ. Oh, They've got the Dissimilate. Age is picked up by God King. Tempest Double comes in, but I don't know if this is really going to matter. They've got the Silence on both the Tempest Double as well as Flyby. There's the Supernova down. Here's the Arena. Flyby trying to run and have enough to pop the egg. Just barely. They still get the kill on a Flyby, though. Two heroes dead on the side of SAG. And the Tempest Double. Holy Radiant crap. Did you see what happened on mid lane on the Void Spirit in the first place? He uh, cast Silence on the Void Spirit just before he got gripped, so that by the time the Silence hit the bane, it cancelled Fiend's grip. Wow. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. <sighs> That's horrible that was, timing. That was insane. And they found the Marana in the background as well. I don't know if they have the damage though. No. Like Storm's just to top. Take a base, though. What, what, what is D-Stone's doing up in this top lane? I'm so confused. <laughs> He's getting level 20. Of course, going Ags for the blue hole. Like, they still. It feels like they're never Dyer's using Supernova with Chrono, but yes, I, I almost prefer that, you know? Yeah, they're almost saying, like, whenever we have Egg or Chrono up, we can take fights. Yeah. Like, yeah, we can overwhelm them with probably both, but we. I don't think they've had a situation where that's been entirely necessary. Agreed. September. September missing the arrow. They're just going to dark rift Radiant's everybody bottom over bottom. Knock, knock, oh open goodness. up the door. And where are they? RNG is here. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ball lightning in. Electric oh Vortex. D-Stone's just getting caught off that. Force pop the BKB. There's the arena. Supernova down. And by the time you try to fight into this, it's going to be very tough with the Supernova all the way in the back of this arena. So you can't. 
He still has BKB and Aegis on Void, remember her. Time walks back, regains a bunch of his health. Pit of Malice down, and the dome is down once again, but they are in it and ready to take the tier three. Sunray healing him up. God King. Spear back on SRF. He's taking a lot of damage. Ball lightning out of the back lines. They've got the electric vortex onto the shadow demon, but he doesn't have a BKB this time. So now he's been silenced. They pop the BKB on the void, running it from the Mars. This is a chrono. To SRF. Yeah. chrono committed for this Mars. And Radiance bottom tower. He doesn't even go for the kill. He just goes for the tier three. It's actually the fire spirits that get the kill on a flyby. Ball lightning finishes off the Aegis. And they'll leave with that. Okay. Uh, that was a bit of an awkward engagement. The, the Chrono, he used when he was like really low HP, right? So he couldn't really commit. And then he was in this really awkward position where his Underlord had died. He was on like 200 HP. Dyer's top top I'm surprised they managed to get out there without losing more, to be honest, on RNG. Yeah. Dyer's they do get the top tier top two, though, with the clone. Possibly the most annoying hero in the game. If not the most. Depends whether you prefer that or techies. Wood Spirit. It's an 8 second BKB going into the Hex. We've got oh, Supernova this, again. This Chrono now in 90. Storms in... Drake bashes, but... No follow-up uh, control. Ball lightning, vortex, arrow all coming in onto the void. Sunray, but God King just gives up his life. Playing games with these stones. Yeah, I, I don't know how he thought he was going to kill the storm. Yeah, but now like, they're going to get super. That's a plus one. That is two kills. They did not need to give up. Uh, a little bit unnecessary, but at the same time, you know, they have room to mess up. <laughs> it's the way to look at it I at the moment. I guess they do, but at the same time, you're giving up the, well, now no longer the highest net worth hero in the, yeah. in the game. Dyer's I mean, the Void needs a damage item at the moment. That's that's the problem. Like, he needs a, like either a damage item or like some kind of uh, attack speed or anything. Because mm -hmm. right now, he's not doing enough. Like, he's surviving, and he's being really annoyed. Well, he's not surviving, he's dead, but... <laughs> He's uh, really tanky, but he's not, you know, outputting enough damage right now. No. Mid lane. Spear connects, and now they go for the Void Spirit. They've got the silence from the Orc, but the Sunray doing a lot of damage on the D-Stones. And he had BKB. I think it was on, was it on cooldown from before? Uh, maybe it, I clicked on him as he died, and it wasn't. Maybe I just... Missed it. Oh, Mars. Mars gets caught. Aether has Rim no in. Now the Pit of Malice. Silence is there thanks to the Resident Pulse. Throws down the arena, gets the spear, but it's not going to matter. They'll get another kill. And now all of a sudden, Void is up. You've got Chrono Supernova once again. They're losing these fights without the Void being up. Like, what? t is just having a rough game, though, huh? Is, uh... But he has taken part in kills now that weren't at the, like, the five-minute mark. Fair. Excellent. And these clones are really yeah, starting yeah. to hurt now. Because he has the MKB on the Arc Warden. Like, he's actually doing damage. And he's just picked up Hex as well. Oh, XCJ getting run down. Oh. Right click, Sunray. Third kill. They've got a Hex uh, available in the Void is... Spirit. Oh. And this is Void going MKB after getting the Satanic. The arrow hits. Now Void's in a lot of trouble, and he just gets blown up by this Arc Warden. Whoa, me oh my. Big, big Hex reveal. That's that's about as good as it gets on the Arc Warden, right, when you buy a Hex like that. He's now hitting the bot tier 2 as well. There's a Spell Prison for the Dire side. So that's a nice Void Spirit item. Just waiting for the um, the Arc Warden Spell Prism. Arc 
recording spell prism. That would be uh, second time today. Are we gonna get it? Play that game. Can we make Mo freak out? <laughs> I mean, his tempest double will go down to like twenty-seven and a half second cooldown or something. It's ridiculous. Like it's like a hundred percent uptime. Yeah, he if he gets spell prism. Reduction too, huh? It's already at 29.6. They're gonna come in on this, smoked up. Blink forward, looking for an arena. Five by a little bit short, they've got the Dissimulate, so the space is made. Setsu's also got that Dissimulate stun. Void's actually not even level 25 yet, he's falling behind in experience. And he's up in eight. Hmm, ninja gear. Okay, two out of four. Not it yet. Roche is up. They've got the outpost, but there's the smoke. Ooh. You can't really take Roche if you're SAG with Chrono Supernova up. They haven't actually gotten that combo off yet. No, still. All it takes is one good fight, though, right? Oh, timeless so they don't relic. get a spell prison, but they get a timeless relic, which is pretty good for the Mars and the store. It's good for all their heroes, to be honest. I don't even know if you can fight into this. It'd be such no, a gamble. I, I mean, they can try, but then they're, they're not set up and ready. And I think we, we've probably said that a lot about SAG this game. But this Arc Warden is so farmed now. Like, it's unreal. Yeah, he's really pulled away. 6k ahead of this void. It's absolutely massive. Roshan has fallen to the dot. Aegis cheese, smoke out of the pit. Tempest double, and they know it's such. If they can find the arc, that's the biggest kill. Like, by far, obviously. Storm's like a nice second, but you really want this arc. Oh, Chrono on the edge! Oh, just getting D stones. Just on the edge of that chronosphere. Ooh, wow. Arc Warden clone tried to TP on a creep that died as well. So now they can't split push with the this clone. Now mid lane as well. Shivas. September slowed up. Dyer's they don't have the catch. I'm actually going to focus Mars. their attention onto the Mars. The force to pop that BKB. There's a seven second BKB now down. This uh this level 25 void strip by the way with spell prism is one of the most silly things in Dota. If you've played it before, 8.8 .8 second cooldown dissimilar with a 2.5 second stun. It's no, uh yeah, that's pretty it's, wild. It's pretty good. Storm also bought out for a, an ultimate orb by the way. He had buyback and he doesn't have it anymore. What? Super losing is Glimmer key. Dyer's middle tower is under Why is the storm bought out for components of Link? Astral Staff, and now they've got the Aether Remnant. They've got the Arc Warden locked up. They get the kill there on a Jay's Force to buy back. They'll find the Mars. That'll be a second. Supernova down. You can't really fight into this. Spark Wraith's coming through. Tempest Double trying to do what it can, but they're going to lose at least a set of racks. The right clicks just aren't enough from this Tempest Double, and now they're moving their attention over towards the mid lane. They've got the Hex out on the Void Spirit, but no follow up to that either. Duels, arrow, no hit. Arrow looking to re-engage onto the tier three, ball lightning all the way in. They've got the electric vortex that just sits under the void. They have ags and it feels like that electric vortex hasn't hit more than one target still. Astro step back and forth. Now the hex onto the so faceless void, kill, right quick damage down to half, half health. And there it is. There's the three-man vortex. Fiend's grip on yes, the Aegis, void. Though. He's got Aegis. He's not even going to die upon the Satanic. So he stays alive. The Pitamouse is down. They'll look over at the Storm Spirit. D-Stone. He is so dead. 90 seconds gone. September by his back. They'll go up the mid-center rack next. Oh, my God. He has Chrono up again in 15 oh seconds as well. And Arc Warden has no buyback. double. Nightmare is broken, and they get the Tempest double kill. They look over in September. He just bought back. He'll end up dead. 92 seconds without buyback. Arc Warden. They 
broke this Mars. They'll find the Arc Warden. They don't even need the Chrono. He'll just use it on the Bane, and GG is I... called. SAG lose everything, and the kitchen sink inside this base. I'm absolutely livid at these dopes. This game. That that play before where he jumped mid, I could get, out, get over, right? This last fight, his Mars dies without buyback in the bot lane, and the Storm bought an Ultimate Orb and a Lincoln Sphere recipe instead of holding for buyback, which he didn't even put in his inventory. He had in his backpack. So he's bought items that he's not using to 